All right, I've got all the pieces cut out for this flex box for a card holder with a uh, rotary type latch. And I'm not going to take too much time, but normally I put the, the cut out part back in the, in the piece it came out of to keep it from moving around. But if you will just hold your hand down and keep your flex joint from, from uh, moving. This is a lot easier. You can now the, the flex joint is going to take some time because it's going to get in there. Now I actually elevated the work off the cutting surface so my bottom side doesn't have any back splash from the laser. The only other piece that's kind of special when you're sanding this, if you will take your sander and just gently sand the two sides of that so it'll go into your latch a little bit better. The only other one would be maybe this one. And maybe do the same thing on that. Make it a little bit easier to go into the latch itself. The other pieces are kind of hard to hold. But if you just put your finger on one corner, you'll be able to sand them. Okay, I've got all the pieces sanded. And in my drawing, you're going to want to sand it or it's going to be too tight. Uh, the tabs are, are made really tight. So you're going to want to lay out your four pieces like that. Press them together. You don't want to sand too much or they'll become too loose. They ought to fit pretty snugly. Kind of snap together. But you've got to put these four pieces together first before you try to put them in the box or you won't be able to get it together. Then you're just going to kind of line it up, make sure your corners are lined up. And then taking a hammer and be, you know, be kind of gentle because it is, it is pretty thin wood. I've actually got my joints a little bit loose now. So it's not cooperating. But just kind of hold pressure down. And just tap them into place. When you see one of your corners getting off, just kind of move it. Now it's really so tight that you really don't need glue. Uh, I use CA glue. It's a woodworker's basically a super glue and I actually use an accelerant that makes it dry extra quick. But instead of trying to mess up my joints, I'm going to make sure I'm at the bottom everywhere on my joints. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to hang it off the workbench a little bit. Tap it back down. And then I'm just going to put a few drops of this CA glue basically into the four corners. It's a little cool this morning, so my glue is a little thick. You don't have to do all of them, but if you'll do these four or eight, let it dry. Now, you don't have to use this, but it makes life pretty easy because you can kind of press down and spray it with this accelerant and then it'll hold it in place. Now what's so nice about this, it's already dry, I can go back over it and sand it. So there's that piece and we'll continue to the next piece. Okay, we have our box all glued together. I've taken the two cross member pieces and and put them into the larger disc and actually put a drop of CA glue on there. I'm trying to save time on the video. But then when you have it like this, it's pretty much, it doesn't matter which way you have this rotated, but on this particular piece, you want the arrow just to the left. I don't know if you can see that. Just to the left of that piece. Is it, it gently, 
This piece is a little bit, a little bit wider cut. Now, sanding to me is a big part. One, it makes it look better, but two, the the plywood is a little rough when you get it. The sanding, and with, even with just 120 grit sandpaper, is going to take that roughness out. So you've got these three pieces put together. Then I'm going to put it in this, leave it hanging off my workpiece, kind of put it in a locked position or shut position, and then gently tap on this piece. You don't have to go too tight because you want it to rotate. And this is where actually the uh, sanding is going to actually help you. So you could add a one drop of CA glue on the top. I don't suggest doing this to your finger, but I do it all the time. And then, and you don't have to use a accelerant, but it makes it dry a lot faster. And then you can take your sander. off that excess and it would actually blow away and then your latch can move like this so then all you do is shut your door and this is where these two pieces sanded really help get it together and your latch closes it and keeps it shut anyway I hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching